How can coriander become a staple of certain cuisines when it tastes like soap to so many people? Same reason that dairy is so common in Europe and the Middle East when so much of the world is lactose intolerant. Different areas have different genetics. Absolutely genius post hats off to you igniting the coriander versus cilantro confusion. Also, to answer your question, studies show the gene with a prevalence often in the low single digits percentage wise and low for people in areas such as Central America. It became a staple for a reason of course. Edit. Spelling. The genetics for making it taste like soap are not as prevalent in the populations which use coriander as a key ingredient. Anyone else out there equate the taste more to iron more so than soap? I can't eat tacos without cilantro, onion, and lime. It really ruins a dish for me. It even smells soapy. Funnily enough. No one else in my immediate family finds it soapy. It's not so many people. It's like 9 or 10 percent. The rest are the dolts who are all, I have the gene. It tastes like soap. But I love it. Because somehow they have that much of a need to feel, special. Because it doesn't take like soap to so many others. Because it's delicious especially in Asian and South American food. It's easy to grow, and only a small percentage of the population think it tastes like soap. Obviously, because most people don't agree it tastes like soap. My problem is that cilantro has totally ruined the taste of soap for me. Living at sea level I found cilantro to be intensely disgusting soapy and just foul. After moving to a higher altitude, I can't get enough of the stuff. Genuinely curious about how that works. Do people with this particular gene notice the soapy taste in Thai curry pastes which contain high amounts of coriander roots? Or do the roots not have the same soapy flavor as the stems and leaves? It tastes like soap always has. I remember being relieved to hear that it's genetic because people loved it but I tasted soap. I've recently noticed that, in fresh salsa, I can see it in there. All chopped up. But the salsa still tastes good. Maybe because of the acids in the salsa breaking it down? No idea. Cilantro can ruin a dish for me. And I hate to catch a whiff of it when going by a batch in the produce department. It doesn't taste like soap to me. Though once I got just a hint of it. Enough to understand what others experience. On my palate. It's unpleasantly musty. Like a dead mouse hole. And I once described it thus to a friend who exclaimed. Exactly. Me too. So there are at least a couple of us with variant cilantro despising genes. I have the cilantro tastes like soap gene. However. In my teens I got used to Vietnamese food through a friend and his family and eventually my reaction changed from soap taste to liking cilantro. Reddit would be so much funnier if we could have a laughing reaction in addition to down and up. Voting. I love cilantro. I do run into a few people, 1 out of 20, that say it tastes like soap. It tastes soapy to me, but I still love it LMAO. Every food is loved by some and hated by others. As long as there are just enough who really love it it'll be used in a cuisine. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.